My name is Alessandra Dolorica and I specialize in the J-Pods. My name is Tarini and I am the industrial manager for the city. My name is William and I specialize in city hall and surrounding suburbia. I'm Kevin Sue and I specialize in solar energies. I'm Evelyn and I specialize in our buildings. I'm Hannah and I'm going to be talking about nature and art. So this is Fremont as we envision it in the year 2050. This is our city hall, which is in pyramid formation. The higher you are, the better government position you have. But more common people like lawyers and government employees work in the bottom floors. Here are our houses. These are much older design, but our new design houses are earthquake proof and I have much bigger space for their size. This is our park. We have many essential trees, especially this new breed of tree. And there's Lake Elizabeth, which is regular island and trees. Okay. So this is the main solar panel that provides energy for all the buildings around the city hall and the city hall. All the glitter around the city are actually solar panels, but they're smaller and just provide energy for that space. These are also receptors. These have higher efficiency than those of the normal solar panels and of the central solar panel. They need to create enough energy to power the J-Pot system. Okay, so over here we have our uh, business centers. We have four major companies. Also over here we have our apartment building, and at the top floor we also have a hospital, and we also incorporated a museum into Mission Peak. We have a World Trade Center over here with Apple and Intel, which will help create a better and more efficient project, the products in the future, and McDonald's, which will make a healthier menu, as well as MetLife for insurance. There's also a Target over there as your local convenience store and 7-Eleven as that corner store. There's also a new download bookstore where you can download all sorts of devices onto your the entertainment onto your devices. It's, it's, the function is more like a library. And throughout the city, you can also find homeless shelters, which work as local volunteerism. So here, we display our finest public art. And this here is our tourist attraction, Mission Peak Museum. It also comes with a great gift shop. And Last but not least is the J-Pod system. So, how, how, what would a futuristic city be without flying cars? And that's when the J-Pods come in. So, the J-Pod system is, uh, is a circuit of suspended cars that bring you anywhere, anytime, uh, any place. Any, any questions? questions? <laughs> Woohoo, thank you very much. You're welcome.